Me and Fab have like different views on. I just don't want to take any risks it's whatsoever. It's not even It's not even... Panda. <laughs> the beef hula hoop. Egg. Is that the bad breath meal deal? So thanks mate. Yeah, it's all my fault, okay? Completing a race with my dad is something that I've always wanted to do. I threw up over the finish line. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. This is gonna be a very <laughs> sentimental video, but also we're gonna be doing stuff that we should have done a while, um, a ago. while ago. Well, actually, it shouldn't have been done a while ago. The boys are just moving so The boys are moving quickly. fast, yeah. They are climbing absolutely everywhere. everything. So we are going to make the house a little bit safer for them and make it a bit more yeah. baby-proof, toddler-proof. Yeah. Also, Ellen, do you want to tell them what you're doing this weekend? I'm running my first ever race with my dad on Sunday. Which is going to be very... It's, yeah. Like, special, isn't it, to yeah. you, for reasons that Elle will talk about later on. So we've got some more of this bumper stuff. We've actually got it all the way around in here to stop the boys from bumping their heads on the sharp corners. And then we've also got furniture straps, which yeah, I'm hoping is what we're going to use to bolt the furniture to the yes. walls because you'll always hear horror stories about how babies climb up and all the drawers are on trusted drawers and then yeah. they fall and crush them. And, and I feel like it's something that people disaster. easily overlook. Yeah, I forget to do. I forget to do. These, because by the way, it, they had good reviews. It is a fact, but it's, it is going to be worth it. Oh, 100%. It's the peace of mind. Yeah. These are like brackets. You put one on the wall, one on the object, and then it's got like a metal cable that goes in between it and holds it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got them a new mat for their um, tent. It's even thinner than is what's it? in there. Is oh, it? It's yeah. thinner. Hold on. Have, get out first. You're prematurely judging this. It's prematurely. Premature. It's prematurely. No, it's not. That's more padded. That's definitely more padded. That's cute. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I got this on Amazon. We'll actually link all of these things and the bumper and everything on Amazon below. The tent that the boys have in their playroom, they, for some reason, they love leaning back and throwing themselves back. I think it's just from us playing like hide and seek with them. But the one we've got in there at the moment is very thin, so they keep bumping their head on the floor. So I thought, get this, which is a little bit thicker and softer so that they can throw themselves back and not smack their head on the floor. Me and Fab have like different views on Oh yeah, we're on completely these kind different of things. Parents. Like I'm more of like a, obviously, obviously oh, they need to awake. be safe. Should we go and get them up? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Boys are in their mamas and papas chairs having some snacks. Don't mind us with the excessive <laughs> bib. It's because they've got new outfits on, haven't they? Yeah, they have got new outfits on and they're cream, so I don't want to get them ruined. Yeah. And they're so messy with their food. These chairs are actually really handy. Bless you. <laughs> we're actually going to be giving one away on our Instagram soon. Oh, yeah, we actually need to do that. We're so bad. When we hit 40k, we were going to do a... Well, we are it's going to do... We it's, need to upload it. No, we haven't done the design for the post yeah, but it's, yet. Yeah, all of the stuff's ready. Yeah. Basically, if you aren't following us on Instagram, go and give us a follow because we're going to do a giveaway. So there's going to be Amazon vouchers, a brand new Mamas and Papas chair that the boys are in. There's going to be Home Edition have given us a voucher for you guys to get some stuff for your home. And I think there's some other bits as well, but we will get around to doing that soon. We will also be putting some stuff in a YouTube video too, some Amazon vouchers in the future because I know some of you guys don't have Instagram, but it's easy to make an account if you don't have one. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. That'll be coming soon. Parenting styles. That's what we were talking yeah. about. So ultimately, we both want to keep the children safe. However, Fab is very much more like, I'm going to wrap them in bubble wrap. Don't ever want them to... No, that's not true. Not wrap them in Go bubble on, wrap. Explain, explain your... To me, right, things like banging heads, things that could potentially really injure them, I just don't want to take any risk it's whatsoever. Even it's not even potentially. You are a bit OTT about it. Yeah, I probably am a bit OTT about it, but I just don't even want to risk anything. But yeah, you're very much like, let's wrap everything up and put bumpers on everything. And, yeah. And yeah. Fab wouldn't let them crawl on the kitchen floor because it was dirty. Tiled. No, it's not because it's and dirty. Tiled. It's because it's tiled and I'm worried about them. They love sanding now and I'm worried about them falling and banging their head. In here, I don't care. You do care. Because it's laminate 
and it's not as bad, but it, on a tiled floor, I just want to avoid them from getting hurt. But I can see Ellen's point of view where she's very much like, they need to kind of learn. We need to, so I'm very much, anything immediately dangerous, I'm like, absolutely not. But I do believe that babies and toddlers should be able to experience a life and know what a dangerous thing looks like without it being covered up and taken away from them. Because otherwise what you get is you get children who have never been exposed mm. to danger who are then not because you're not going to ever have your children in your care 24 7 like they grow up and they go to school so if they go to school and don't understand the dangers of being in school because they're not going to have all of their their sharp corners covered and stuff yeah but if you've taught them about oh well, that's a sharp corner like you need to be careful blah 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 that creates more cautious children i believe yeah. i do but, i do see where you're coming from and i think we balance each other out nicely it's kind of i'm glad that we have different opinions because then you kind of get the best of both worlds. If we were both really cautious, then they'd probably be like... Very sheltered. Very sheltered. And Me and Elle are different in pretty much every aspect of life. Apart from training. Well, even training, <laughs> you're running under. It's, it's just about finding the balance. But if, I think if you had your way, you would yeah. have every ounce of this house wrapped up. <laughs> both parents are entitled to have their own view, and that's that. We are, but you're winning at the moment. I'm winning? Yeah. Yeah, hence the bumpers. <laughs> First up, let's get this on there. This is what they literally learned to do tummy time on. Yep. Look! Look, yeah! You got a new rug! Lion! What do you want to see? The animals? The boys love these prints that we got from Desenio. Best thing we put in here. Panda? Where's Panda? Panda! <laughs> Look, boy. there's Panda. Where's Fox? Where's Foxy? Where's Foxy? Yeah! yeah oh clever my word, boy. he was listening. Where is Hedgehog? Where's Hedgehog? Mm, yeah. Oh! Yeah, oh, clever oh, boy! He's so clever! <laughs> if you have babies, you should definitely invest in a bubble machine because they love it. Watch their reaction now, right? Let's take that. Where have you found that? One, two, don't need to spend a lot of money Ooh. on toys for them. The things they love the most are the most simplest things. Like Ellen's mum has bought them things off Facebook Marketplace that cost like nothing and they love them. So we just put beanie hats on the boys and, and socks, thick socks and thick socks. And then we came outside, bear in mind it's October and it's like 20 degrees in the UK. I'm absolutely roasting in shorts and a t-shirt. Let's take their socks off and take them off. We're having some weird heat wave again in October. This weather is all over the gap, oh, isn't it? it really is. So Great. weird. Where was this in summer? I just want to enjoy my autumn in peace. Although we are going on holiday in a week. Yeah, we So we are going to be in the sun. Although the UK sun is different to abroad, isn't it? At least well, we'll have a pool. Well, it's just because there's yeah, ways to deal with it. <laughs> 
Right, we've been to the co-op to get some lunch. So I got a Mexican bean and cheese wrap, bang him. Some baked walkers, um, a Pepsi Cherry Max. And I saw that they're doing the green monster, but in zero sugar. And you get some Call of Duty tokens. I'm definitely gonna buy the new Call of Duty, by the way, when it comes out. The beef hula hoops, mm -hmm. well you can stay away from me for the rest of the afternoon then. Some eggs. And eggs. <laughs> Is that the bad breath meal deal? <laughs> and some satay shrimp. Nice. And oh, God. <laughs> That's exactly why I put bumpers up. Miss Rachel's helping us, as always, to eat our lunch in peace. Although it's not really working at the moment. Oh yeah. And we saw that they had the new white Oreo, Oreo grenade bars. Grenade very kindly do send us some of their bars but we bought this because these have literally just come out so we're gonna taste this in a minute. Right, let's give this a go. It's really nice. It's just tastes well the taste mm. After lunch I got to work on making the house safer for the boys. Starting with this bookshelf that they always like to stand and hold on to and then moving on to our little dresser by the front door which is actually from Home Edition the brand that I mentioned earlier but the boys sometimes climb on this and it is very unstable it's got a vase on it so we try and keep them away from this but i'm going to secure this to the wall just so it can't fall over i used this tool to make sure there were no electric cables running where i needed to drill and then proceeded to drill the holes so this is how it works you put one on the wall you put one on the piece of furniture and then you've got this little metal wire that goes through you obviously thread that through both of them it screws together and then if it ever tilts this will catch it would help if I was actually screwing the bracket onto the wall. Come on fam. Completed for now. Still have some things to do in the future, but these were the most pressing. So the next thing that we're gonna do is something that we should have done a long time ago. Yes. And in fact, we probably should have done this when we first moved in, but it's to set up our new security cameras for the house. Especially now we've got a family. When you have babies, your anxiety of people breaking in goes up through the roof. Your like noise detection is so Heightened. much higher. So we are very kindly working with Altron on this video. They have sponsored this part of the video and they've sent us two cameras. We have got the indoor W1 camera, which is 1080p. It's got a 360 degree swivel, so you can see it all the way around. And it's got two way audio. So if you've got like a dog, any kind of pet, or if you're checking in on an elderly family member, you can go rah through it. No, I wouldn't do that, but you could check in and say hello. <laughs> And it's also got clear night vision as well, so you'll be able to see this super clear if you're looking at night time. And then we've got the outdoor O1 camera, which we are gonna be mounting outside the front of our house, and this will be used for security and for us to check in when we're on holiday. So this is an awesome camera. Not only is it four megapixel or 2K resolution, meaning that you can see super clear, not only at daytime, but nighttime, but it's also got a smart colour mode, so you can see in colour even at night time. So if someone's burgering you, you've not only got it in 2K, you've got it in colour too. So you can clip that, put it on TikTok, go viral. Find your burglar. Find your burglar, yeah. <laughs> it's durable and it's IP65 waterproof. Which is what we need in the UK, yeah, especially definitely. when it rains all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We'll set it up, show you what it looks like in the app and all the features that you get with it. Let's go add device. Cam01, boom. Have I just, I memorized the Wi-Fi password. That was pretty impressive, right? Connecting device. Hey, okay, successfully connected. Motion detected. Hey, why are we upside down? Oh. Because the camera's upside down. Hey guys. Look at the quality of that. Whoa, could we use this as a vlog camera? Please oh like gosh. and subscribe. Look, have a look, you can pinch. So like if it was outside, how good is that quality? Wow. Such a good feature. And look, so on here you can talk through it. Hold, oh. 
<laughs> so if you've got a burglar, more appropriate, you can go rah to the probably more appropriate to the burglar, but you can speak through it. So Ellen's got it on our back garden now. So there's different things on here like night mode. Let's cut to a clip of what this looks like at night time so that you can see how it looks. It's got sound detection, it's got motion tracking, so I'm guessing you can set all of these it's got a siren on it it's also got like an ai tracking feature so it can track different objects like cars people so the camera has a micro sd card slot so you can chuck that in and then store all your footage on there or there is also a cloud system where you can store all the footage online but i think i'm going to use the sd slot because i've got loads from filming and stuff so like i said we're not going to show you where we're putting this in the house but it is super easy to install there are brackets on here so you just drill into the wall and then it is wired so you just plug it in but if you guys want to check out Altron I would highly recommend that I actually I'm really impressed by the quality of that and the yeah. features I am so impressed by how crisp it is because I think that security cameras often you'll see that somebody's put like a picture of somebody up and it's great yeah. camera and it's so need it grainy clear, yeah. and also as well it looks really neat if you want to check out Altron we will put a link in the top of our description go and pick them up and let us know if you get one boys are in bed we just had, I wish we filmed that, that was I hilarious. know. Yeah. We just had like 10 minutes playing with them and they were both like hysterically laughing. laughing. <laughs> Elle's going to cheer tonight, so she's back cheerleading now. Have you got a competition coming up or not? Um, yeah, in the, year, in the new year. Ah. But I've got a, a like, show. Like, Exhibition. Yeah. So Elle's going to go to training. My brother's coming over and he's gonna make a start on prepping the plaster in, in, in Ellen's dressing room. Yeah. Which are you excited for that to finally um, get started? It needs to be done really, doesn't it? Because I need space to she's, like, film content and yeah, stuff. Yeah, she's well into filming her reels and stuff at the moment. Well, kind of, but I need to get a new phone because I constantly have well, to yeah, use we'll fabs. She's, yeah. And I just need some space to do it because it's like... Yeah. Well, so we're doing that room up for her. So she's got like a dressing room slash filming room. And you're going to use it, do you? Yeah, I'll use it But as well. you don't have anything. Look how quickly those leaves have turned red. That's actually really pretty. It is, isn't it? It'd be a good year. time to cut it back, oh actually. Oh my gosh, this time last year I was like 33 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh. Mad. Just the year is just flown. Doing... Prepping. Yeah. Prepping the bottles and stuff. With my gigantic tummy. Yeah, that feels like the other day, doesn't it? It literally does. But then it also it? feels like a lifetime ago because we've had, been through so much since. Oh. Just want to say as well, thank you so much for the love on the last video. It's so like comforting to see so many, and reassuring to see so many of you commenting saying that you enjoy the content and to ignore everybody else. Yeah, just being nice. <laughs> we have such an awesome, do you know what I love as well is people will comment with some of their news, news being like, oh, I'm pregnant or yeah. I'm having a baby or I'm getting married, whatever it is. And then other is. people will reply to them. Yeah, just and then nice. people will reply or these people post questions and then other people will reply. So if you're one of those people who are like part of the community, yeah, then we appreciate you and it's awesome to see. Yeah, um, it is. Like Al said, we want a safe space that people yeah. can ask questions and not be judged, be judged and stuff like that. So yeah. it's nice to see that. Are we going to have dinner tonight? Do you want? Yeah, do you need, need to, to cook to dinner? Pick something to cook. Oh. Yeah. The next morning, we set off early for Bournemouth. And if you're wondering how much stuff you need to pack to go away for two days with twins, here it is: toys, yeah. bath mat, yeah. vests, yeah. drinks, yeah. nappy bag, yeah. bottles formula, yeah. towels, yeah. wipes, nappy cream, yeah. nappies, yeah. muslins, yeah. pram, yeah. baby carriers. Yeah. Once we'd finally ticked off that list, we could get go. Why does this always happen when you're in a rush? Okay, car is fueled. Now we can finally get... Um, what are you doing? I'm cleaning dirty nappies. What are you doing? Mm, just watching you. What are you doing? I've got the wipes. <laughs> So Fab, do you want to tell everybody what's just happened? What's just happened? What happened? I missed the turn in! Uh, and it added half an hour on. So Fab does this, does this thing right when we leave the house that he doesn't go to the toilet. So like half an hour into our journey, he's like, 
Oh, ow, I need the toilet. So we have to stop. Not got the microphone in. Oh. Right, Fab, tell everybody. Have you turned it on? <laughs> so. Look, I took a wrong turn in and it added half an hour onto the Not only journey. that, but Fab does this thing, right, where he doesn't go to the toilet before we leave. So half an hour into a journey, he's like, ow, I really need to stop to go to the toilet. He was also up at five o'clock this morning, which was up way before any of us, and didn't have a coffee. So we then had to stop you can and get tell a, you're a teacher. Too. You can tell you're a teacher. I bet when the kids ask, can I go to the toilet, you say, you should have done that at break time. Yeah, but miss, I didn't need the toilet at break time. No. Same no. applies here. Well, they should have gone at break time. And you should have gone before well, you left. I'll go at break time next time then. You should have, you should have gone. No, so now we look like Casper. Before we left, this camera is Crank so that bad. It's just not on auto. Come on, who shoots on auto these days? Only, only you, actually. So yeah, so we Fab has basically really turned a two-hour and forty-five-minute journey into a four-hour journey. So thanks, mate. Yeah, it's all my fault. Okay. <laughs> Let's all blame Fab, the one who didn't go for a wee at break time. <laughs> we just saw a That's penny. Awful. Boys, they've been actually, they have actually been amazing this car journey. It's because Mrs. Rachel has stopped. Oh no. <sighs> now we're stuck in such bad Okay. Traffic. Don't judge us, by the way. They've only had that on for the last little bit. Not for the full journey. Kicking off. And not, to be honest, like, I'm fun. ready to kick off too because uh, yeah. I'm so I'm fed up of being in this car. This oh, and is Fab awful. just goes, Oh, I'm hungry. We've stopped at two places that serve food and he's chosen not to get food. Look. But now he's moaning. And also, another thing that he's been doing, <sighs> right, because he doesn't want to drive. So, this is what Fab does when he doesn't want to drive. He'll pretend that his knee's hurting. What are you on about? My knee is hurting. I don't pretend. <laughs> she thinks she knows it all, but she doesn't, okay? You do pretend. You're like, oh, ow, my knee really hurts. It does hurt. <laughs> it does really actually hurt. But then Hence. it will go in the gym and squat. It will be today. It will be like, oh, shall I go for a run? Look, do you want to get out and walk? Because you're really be grinding my gears. <laughs> it might be quicker. It might be quicker. We're only nine minutes away now. Oh, poo. <laughs> in your white sneak. <laughs> You excited? Yeah, it's a bit crazy <laughs> this morning. I just realised I've not downloaded my songs. She's got hokers. She's got gym, gym shark. shark shorts. My oh, Salomon okay. running vest. Gym shark hoodie, which I'm coming off, and gym shark vital seamless crop. This day was much more to me than just running. Completing a race with my dad is something that I've always wanted to do. All right, keep that sign safe. Growing up, I used to watch my dad run multiple marathons and this always inspired me to want to get into it. However, I am not a natural runner. Are we looking? Hello. <laughs> I recognize that t-shirt. Yep. <laughs> Don't forget, pain is just losing, leaving the body. <laughs> we had the perfect weather for our run, which is unknown for October. Oh, Blue skies, but not too hot, and the vibes were absolutely awesome. If you ever go and watch a running race, please make sure that you are cheering from the sidelines because you have no idea how much this helped, especially when you're struggling to run. The route that we ran is also really special to my dad. My dad grew up in Bournemouth, and the whole route that we ran was basically his whole entire childhood. He started the race where his mum used to always walk the dogs. He often takes us there and tells us how much his mum used to love taking the dogs there. We then ran to Boscombe Pier where he used to go every Christmas to the amusement arcade. There was plenty of other memories along the route that my dad couldn't wait to tell me about once we'd finished the race. How was it out? Huh? Ah, 
God. I threw up over the finish line. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. What else you were running? I got over the finish line and then threw up. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You okay? Yeah. We're just unpacking everything. Boys have gone down for a nap. The worst part is when you get home and you've got to take everything out of the car, isn't it? Yeah. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling very achy. My legs are sore. I'm feeling good. I'm excited. When we were down there, me, my sister and my dad booked on to do the half marathon. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing the half marathon with them in March. That would be cool. Yeah. I just thought that I would just update you a little bit on how the race went and how it was because I get a lot of messages asking like how I've trained for it, how I've managed to build up to 10k and a lot of you as well want an update of how I got on. So the race was fine, it was actually, I, I genuinely don't think I stopped smiling from the start to the finish like i wanted to run with a race with my dad for like 17 years which was so 17 years ago he ran his first marathon and ever since then i have wanted to run with him however i am not a natural runner in the slightest in fact i find it i find it really really hard and even after i had been training for this race since july so from July, end of July up until October, the first weekend in October, that is how long I've been training for a 10K for. And in my like peak week for running, where I was, when I was meant to be running my furthest distance, I got COVID. So yeah, it kind of all just went a bit downhill, so close to the race, but I still did it. And like I said, I did literally did not stop smiling the whole way round. My dad stayed with me, my sister was with, with us too, we all did it together, but my sister's like, she's basically got the running gene, I think from my dad. And I, I was the slowest of the team. My sister, when she was trying to run at my pace, it was just not happening. So she ran off and um, she went at her own pace. Like I've not had sickness, the feeling of that sickness from exercise for a really long time. So I was running and my dad said to me, he was like, don't let anyone overtake you now. My dad's so competitive. So I was like, right, okay. So I was like giving all my beans. There's a video of me going over the finish line, going and then, yeah, went around the corner from the finish line to where the ambulance people were and just everywhere. It meant so much to my dad. Like we were speaking about it in the evening. He was just so happy to have ran a, ra ran a race with us too, um, which, I don't know, it just makes me feel so happy. And my dad grew up in Bournemouth, like his whole childhood was in Bournemouth. And the route that we ran had loads of special meaning to him. We did it and I got a medal and I've got a t-shirt and I've got my number and I've got loads of stuff now to make like a memory fr frame so that I could just have that memory forever. I mean, I'm never gonna forget it, but. Lifting weights, I think it's my forte. Running, not my forte, not at all. I just, it, yeah. Anyway, it's done. I'm proud of myself. I, the memories that we're gonna have from it are incredible. Elle's at work, the boys are at nursery. I am in my office, which is still a tip and is another project that needs to be done probably next year now in the new year. But I just wanted to say thank you if you've watched all the way to the end. We really appreciate you guys. And if you're new here and this is the first video, make sure you subscribe if you've enjoyed it and hit the thumbs up and we will see you guys next week.